Hello everyone, it's Milk and today I'm going to somewhere to do throttle body sync so why I have to do that is because the other time I actually changed to KNN filter from the stock one and I think because uh, KNN filter allows so much more air intake than the stock filter so now I have a lot of air intake but the fuel mixture is not I mean the air and fuel mixture is not right lah. so apparently I feel like I got more air mixture than uh, than I am supposed to have so I will have to tune it lah, you know to allow more fuel to go into my uh, engine you know my bike will feel like it has no petrol sometimes uh, I mean not not really no petrol lah, like it feels a bit choppy and when I dealing it will sort of move up and down like a, a bit jumpy so anyway this place I'm going to is quite cool it's actually recommended by my friend it's actually private lah, meaning there's no workshop it's just someone doing it at his void deck and I'm not going to disclose his location because obviously it's not a registered business it's not legal lah, to be attacked so I don't want to sabo him lah. they say he is really good at GSR bikes like he knows the bike really well la. and honestly uh, the price he gave me although it's a special price uh, it's still quite expensive uh. I mean for that price I would rather go to a workshop but since everyone says it's so good I don't mind paying a bit more just to be safe because you know I don't want to mess with my bike and all I'm planning to renew it for another 5 years uh, at least so now, right now my bike feels terrible uh, especially at low RPM come on uh. I don't know why but my girlfriend behind felt like she was going to fly off just now I mean I felt like she was going to fly off and give me a scare she just jerk and let go one of her hand, I don't know why. I'll ask her later. Anyway, two days back uh, there was a super massive jam at the uh, Woolen Shack Point to Malaysia. La. It's like freaking scary, okay? I wasn't there but looking at the pictures uh, it's really really terrible. Because I usually go to Malaysia, uh, if I'm going to Malaysia I'll go by Tuas Shack Point. I really don't like Woolen Shack Point because it's so jammed. I mean, not just yesterday, like even during non peak hours, uh, it's still super jammed. Uh. So, my next video, I'm planning to teach you guys how to get to Malaysia, uh, how to go to the nearest petrol station. Uh how to go through the checkpoint you know because plus checkpoint requires touch and go uh, some people already know I mean most people already know lah, but some of you especially if you are a new rider you might not know the procedure to go into Malaysia through Tuas very well so I wanna show you guys how to do it so next time if you want to pump petrol lah, and you stay near Tuas Maybe you say in Jurong or anywhere in the west, you can go to Tua Checkpoint, which, in my opinion, uh, is much better. Uh. Although I need to pay a bit more for the Singapore Custom and Malaysia Custom, but I really do my cost for like two dollars or a little more than two dollars. I can save so much time, so much energy from all the queuing. Uh. I'm not sure when I'll have time to do that but let's say if you want me to do it earlier or what uh, uh, I mean like let's say if you really want to know how to uh, get to Malaysia through Tuas and you need it urgently or something please let me know if not I'm going to take my own sweet time uh. okay guys so I'm reaching the place and because I don't want to disclose his location now uh, I'm going to cut off the video from here and talk to you later
Hello guys, I'm back. So just done with the sort of like servicing, uh, tuning, and cleaning my FI. Then he found out what's the problem with my bike, uh, which I said it was. I felt like it was uh, lacking fuel or something uh, when I tried to throttle the low RPM, especially. So he said one of my pipe. I don't know some rubber hose. Uh, I think it's from for the air intake or something. is broken, so the air tend to slip out. What the fuck? Okay, so the air tend to slip out. And which is why I keep having weird feeling uh, recently. Uh. After servicing is much better now. I mean not much better, it's perfect already. No more problems with my uh, picking up and stuff. So you can see now my idling is not jumpy anymore. Anyway, after the tuning, I can feel my bike is a lot smoother now. And the engine sound is uh, very consistent. Also, I can tell that guy is really familiar with my bike. Because most of the bike workshop that I went to, they tend to be a bit unfamiliar with GSR 400. Because it is an old bike. Uh. I mean, because mine is the uh, first generation, so... Some people might not get to repair it or service it a lot uh. But this guy, uh, he knows the bike very well So probably next time uh, if I need to repair or anything I will still come to him uh. Although it's a bit pricey, I don't mind as long as he does a great job freaking smooth now even when I change the gear I can feel the difference like you know sometimes when you up gear your bike might slow down a little but now it's not like this you know that's how before I went to the service I was talking about uh, my girlfriend sort of like nearly flew off uh. I, I, at least I felt that way uh. so afterwards I asked her that is because uh, she felt that her helmet was flying off. <laughs> because today she is wearing an open face helmet. What happened was today uh, while I was riding near my house I saw this bird like right in the middle of the road uh. so I went to pick it up and I thought it was injured or something uh, so I put it in my helmet, wanted to bring it home and the bird shit in her helmet uh, which is why she couldn't wear the full face helmet today Anyway, the bird wasn't injured after checking so he flew off really Anyway, one more reminder First I was talking about the video I want to make for going to Malaysia to pump your petrol via Tuas so do let me know if you want me to do it as soon as possible like I say, if not I will take my own sweet time again uh. so thanks for watching guys and remember to subscribe if you haven't bye